do you think we need to do to rebuild? Uh, we got to rebuild the family family structure. Well, you already know, man. This is Larry Smiley, so like words. It's how we speak to one another. It's how we speak to one another. It's how we treat one another. You know, if the words we use were they lyrics or they words, that's why the lyrics matter because they words. Right. You get what I'm saying? The words change the mind state. Once you got the mind state and perceptive, now you got the action. You know, a lot of people, it's a lot of people right now, man. I know because I get to talk to some people that got another 37 years. You know, the phone get handed around. I'm having conversations with people and they're like, man, right on, man. You're giving me a lifeline right now. To know that a perfect stranger just geek off of me talking to them. Words matter. Yeah. Lyrics matter. Thank you, man. I'm trying to get on my business stuff, too. That's hope. Mm -hmm. Man, I got a whole other 37 years. So that's what I'm saying, you because, know. Because it's, it's like we, like you were saying earlier, um, you know, uh, that process of manifestation, bringing in things, bringing things into life, yeah. you know, is creating that, that foundation for the mind to think a certain way. What's good with my people, man? Oh, you already know who it is. It's Mr. Lewis. I'm with my brother Saint. And, salute, uh, salute. You know, we just on rebuilding the culture right now. So the topic that we got for today is family structure. And I'm gonna just let my bread kick it off, you know, and just let the people know what family structure is to, to you and what rebuilding the culture is to you as well, you know, just let them know. Right, right. Uh, I, I think um, the family structure is like the origin. Right. That's the keyhole. You know, um, just because, like, from traveling, you know, first of all, let me just say, me being from Illinois, Southern Illinois at that, um, that mannerism come with it. So it's like, it's an automatic, uh, you can be the killer next door, you can be the thug down the block selling dope, don't matter. Somebody, grandma come outside, you say, yes, man, no, man, you pull your pants up, <laughs> you take your hat off, you take your hoodie off your head, you look presentable, right. you know. Uh, you could be in the midst, you could be beating somebody up. Somebody mama say something, you just stop. That's just what it is. That's you know crazy. what I mean? And it's my bad, I didn't mean no, to No, 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 you good, you good, you good. It's just like, it's crazy because my, my bro, he moved out to Florida. Okay. And yeah. he was telling me the same thing. He was like, yeah, man, the black people around here are kind of different. You know what I mean? Like, they come to your house and they they kind of want to know who you are. And they want to, you know, yeah. like, they, they more... You know, just just like not how we are out here, like just looking nah, at each other, just like you it's know the total I mean? opposite. It literally is a total opposite. Yeah, you know? and it's like people um, take offense when, for real, we should all recognize like what can we do? Because it's craziness everywhere. It's a lot of stuff that's going on. like mm -hmm. that's culture. You know what I mean? Like you got the good side of it, and then you got the bad side. But when we talking about like as far as our culture. Or right now, I would just say oppressed because I don't like all the terminology when they use all these different names, African American, and all that other right. stuff. Uh, the oppressed, because we know exactly who that is. You know what I mean? So, um, we're people of respect. You know what I mean? Uh, people of uh, people of pride, obviously. Yeah. Um, but the structure, you know, the respect, you know what I mean? Uh, and that's why we at where we at right now. You know, like. It, it ain't no reason why us as people shouldn't be able to walk by and say, hey, what's up, brother? Right. All right, now, you got, you got, it don't matter if you banging. It don't matter what you're doing. Like, that's the whole essence of life for us. That's to be the, 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 the harness of the energy, you know, speaking to your people, just speaking to them. Mm -hmm. So when you go somewhere, you travel, and you're in, a, and you're in larger states, bigger cities, you're thinking, oh, this is city life. And you get there and you realize people be as close to me as you and don't even speak. Something wrong. Yeah. Something's wrong. And that's disturbing as hell. You know what I mean? Because yeah. that's 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 all bad for, and that's bad for everybody. Because what that does, one, it puts stigma on us, you know, uh, as people of color. And then two, like, it's basically home training, and that's really what it is for us, because for people people throw the word around like culture. You know, I'm mean? like, ah, oh, you know, culture, like, but they don't really be knowing, like, we could tell when somebody is just culture, period, you know, and it's like, that's the rootage, the verbiage, you know, um, staying in the South, again, you know, I think everybody should visit the South. Right. Um, right. You'll find, you'll find our way of living, like, all the way back, day back to the ancestors. You're not going to find it nowhere else. 
Like even everybody here in California, they still came from the South. They still came from the Illinois, the Mississippi's, the Arkansas's. Everybody, grandparents that's here, they come from, they, that's where everybody come from. You know, either that or somebody come from New York and they even came all the way over because, you know, that's how you had to come in back in the day. Yeah. But as far as the family structure, that's why we looked upon how we looked at, like when we go into different stores, you know, and you're like, dang, dude, why you acting like, ooh, ooh, da, 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 Because we've been stripped of who we are. Everybody else is manipulating our culture. Family structure is one of them. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like yeah. the man, the, the, the black man beefing with the black woman, she don't understand the pressure. He got to go outside. It's just as simple as getting pulled over. Now he did. He not trying to listen to what he, she's saying because he feel like she out of position. You know, like we all out of whack right now. The child ain't listening to either one of them. Right. They most because they ain't arguing and because they're right whack. Right and they and, and they think that's okay. Right. You know, any child's gonna think anything is okay if that's what they keep saying. Mm -hmm. Oh, you know, I just slap it in. Right. You know what I'm saying? Get out of my face. You know what I'm saying? Like. Our oh. kids will find a way to manipulate the situation because they see mom and dad ain't on the same page. Okay, yeah. I can go to mom. When dad say this, I can go to mom. Right. And, or vice versa. You know? and, then, and then again, creating, up, creating more space and separation exactly. in between that internal family. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? And that's why, um, you know, we at where we at once again. That when people say words like, oh, we got we to gotta have unity and stuff like that. Well, come back down to the family structure at the end of the day. Yeah, you know what I mean? Um, because it's to the point to where the women feel like they have to be the man now, and then the man is that more broken down because he felt like he's being disrespected by, you know, the, the adversity, mm -hmm. and then he feel like he's being disrespected by his own people, his queen or his woman, because she's not really understanding. Right, she what's going on? She don't respect him. Right, right. she don't respect him. You right. know what I'm saying? And they imbalance things that for that reason, right. so that he can feel that way. All this is planned. Long as, as long as the family structure is broken, is there's no love. You gotta think about it. Like, how many artists promote one another of color? Something that simple. Mm -hmm. Because we too worried about the wrong thing. We didn't. We didn't became each other's enemy. You dig what I'm saying? To where we feel like, well, I gotta make it. Damn, or I'm great with him. He made it. How he make it? Right. That right. perspective because it go back down to the family structure. Right. Or you copying me, or you know what I mean. Yeah. You got this for me, or right. You know, like we all ain't out here getting stuff from each other or other things. You know what I mean. Like That's we all it. ain't building off of just and, the same thing. And and that that just show you, you know. Um, I mean, gang bang and got in hand. I, I ain't gonna speak on the politics because that ain't that's not my. Uh, position to right. You dig what I'm saying? But what I'm saying is like, anytime you're 40, 50, 60 years old, and you still talking about whatever you throwing up, whatever flag you throwing up, yeah. you know. Um, all I'm saying is, do you even know the originality of how this started? Because this is all based off protection of the neighborhoods. You know, we all know the story and how it went. You know, they came in with the dope. And the government been attacking us and manipulating us since day one. I'm not understanding that. You know, we we have to. We just ignore it. We just ignore. We all just ignore it. We don't act like we know what happened. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then it's just like, but yeah, this is what we all know. You know. Right, right. That's like, hey, my, how you doing? Oh, oh, wait, can I cuss on her? Oh yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. fuck you then. You know. So it's like, right, right. right. It's like, yo. If you just say how you doing, she ain't responding back, and then go about your way. Exactly. She might have right. a man. She might not be cooked, feeling, feeling the energy. It could, it could she be might even want you to ask her one more time. Right. In, in a nicer manner. Mm -hmm. Just because that's how she is. Because she yeah. want to see if you're really serious. Or do you just holler at every person that walk by? You see what I'm saying? So, like, these are all things. But we learn this from the womb. And that's why we, 30 years old, black men, you know, 35, 20s, we so far behind everybody else. Right. Because we learning the lessons we're supposed to learn as children. Yeah. Right? See, the thing that kills us the most is, like any child, protection. If you grow up and you don't, you don't have protection, nine times out of ten, you're probably going to be a monster when you grow up. You're probably going to have crazy paranoia. You dig what I'm saying? Yeah. And it's going to be really hard for you to, to, to unify and link with people, right? Because we want to be like, damn, soon something happened to us, we just judge everybody for that. 
You know what I mean? Da da da. Woo! I ain't missing that. Yeah. But it shouldn't be to the point to where. <laughs> My bad. Oh, no, no, you good? Do your thing, man. Yeah, it, it was just two things that I had thought about mm -hmm. that you kind of put on my mind as far as just like uh like i was thinking about the movies how the movies that we grew up watching really played a role in you know conditioning our mind to yeah. feel like this is how it should be you know all the fridays the boys in the hood right. all these movies that we felt like were, were our movies and they related to our struggles so much but it kind of just conditioned us into being you know uh who we are. Yeah. You know? Yeah. And, and don't nobody want to take responsibility. Everybody wants to check. Everybody want, you know, the acknowledgement. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? And it's just sad because when you look at like something like Boys in the Hood, if you look 20 years before that in the 70s or something like that, or right now, if I turn this TV on, I like doing stuff like, say I, say I get into it, right? And we're just going to say her. Say I get into it with her, right? Yeah. And I got a damn attitude, whatever the case is. Man, I could throw on good times. So I'm lovely in here. Right, right. It's good times, right? They teach you family structure. Mm -hmm. Like, because no matter what happened and what that family go through, they can get into it, they're going to stick together. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? The, the child can mess up, they're going to stick together. No matter what happened, it was always a lesson to learn. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? There was no, well, no, you know, I remember back in the day, we used to work, use words like, and this, when I say back in the day, I'm talking like 10 years ago. You know, stuff like, you gonna sit your little fast ass down somewhere. Right. Now, exactly. you know, kids ain't even get out of high school and I'm looking at, you know, uh pictures and stuff and it's like this the sexualism, you know, the provocativeness, the the rush to to get older. Mm. You know what I mean? We wanna get old so fast to where I mean for what though? We we're not going nowhere. You're not going nowhere. You're gonna get older, you're lacking the tools. Like it's a reason why you go to seven eleven and do sixteen. You know, and they follow, and their parents just gave him a store. Because things like principles, integrity, loyalty, that means something to him. Mm -hmm. Right? Because that's the way he was bred through that family structure. You know what I mean? Being that we don't have that, we don't got that protection. Like, basically, man, we just, uh, we just raw. Right. So, no matter, but, so, and, that, and what you get from that is, um, uh, don't like open no doors for nobody. You know what I mean? Um, you, you can be mean. You can be a horrible person. That don't mean you don't open the door for people. That don't mean you don't say right on. You know? Yeah. Um, hey, how you doing? All right, cool. Excuse me. Thank Excuse you. Excuse me. You know, you don't, you know. You know I mean? Just being. Yeah. Re using, being polite and using regular manners. You know what I mean? Just at all times. But we speak to each other and it might not, it might not go the right way. Might be the last time, you know, you hear on this earth. You dig what I'm saying? And that's that's upsetting when we already gotta fight and try to protect ourselves against things like police officers that's killing us at any given moment, any given second. Hell, somebody dying right now, being murdered by the police officers right now. Somewhere in the world. You know, so like that family structure is important, you know what I mean? Because um without it, I I'm not comprehending or I don't think anyone would really be able to. It's not even possible. And I'm not using words like impossible, but we can't move forward if we don't got the tools, though. Definitely. And that's what's happening when we don't got the family structure. We don't have the tools to get out here. And that's why the black man is far behind, because that's what it was all about. Chipping at him, chipping at him, chipping at him. If you want to really, if you want to really break down your enemy, you don't attack them on the full, full swarm. You just chip at him, chip at him, right. chip at him, chip at him. And now we got the most enemies out of any other body. You know what I mean? So now it's like, all right, I'm going all out. I'm going to do this, make this ten penitentiary bid. I'm going to do what I got to do. Because there ain't no family structure there. Ain't no protection there. And you, you know, we walking around as men feeling like we're not loved. We don't know how to communicate. Don't know the proper definition of what a man is. Yeah. You know, a lot of us are raised by women. You know, from the attack from dope. You know, from the attack alcohol and lick on every damn corner. Mm -hmm. You know, when it comes to the black community. Right. You right, know, every right. corner in the white community. You know, it's, it's the same you thing. You probably ain't gonna see one in the white community. You if you do, it's gonna be in like, um, uh, what's a the grocery outlet? A grocery outlet or something like yeah, that. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, but they ain't yeah. gonna have no liquor store. No. Every corner. You, you, in, you in the neighborhood and right up the street is a liquor store. You know Anything's I mean? attacking three, the three structure. Like, when I just think about Oak Park, I'm just like, you know, just the liquor stores. That's, yeah. that's 
right there. You know what I mean? Like, um, just everywhere. Churches, same thing. You know what I mean? Uh, but yeah, bro. So it's like we getting attacked. So, so just from the beginning of things, from as far as like you were saying, the family structure and being in a household with your, you know, as a man with your lady, having kids, and you know how we weren't really taught, or even if we were taught manners. And stuff like that, we weren't taught to, to be a family, how to be a family. You know what I mean? Like, that right. wasn't really wasn't taught enforced. to us. You know, exactly. It wasn't yeah. enforced. Not that it wasn't taught, because I, I feel like everybody talks about these things, but yeah, they weren't enforced. It wasn't tradition. Right. You know, it wasn't something that was just, you know, that exactly. our parents were just like on top of, just like, no, we're going to make sure that we keep the family together. If, if my daughter or my son is mad at me, I ain't going to be like, well, he mad at me right now. I ain't going to talk to him. And you know what I mean? It's like being an adult, you you kind of, or or not even being an adult, but being family-centered, you know, you you learn how to communicate with your, with your family member and, and keep them around. And Word. you don't just be mad at them all the time. Uh, I mean, not that you, not, you don't be mad at them all the time, but it's like, yeah, you just learn how to make things work. And if they don't work, like we were saying earlier, then, you know, you just do separate and go about the ways depending on what the situation is. You know what I mean? Uh, but most of all, we just, yeah, we got to keep that that togetherness. We got to. And that's why the music is where it's at. That, right. You know, because they go back to their family structure. You know, she get mad. She get off work. Or she, whatever the case is, she jump in the car. She go pick the kids up from work. She bumping on whatever artists, you know, because everybody's sensitive. I can name a thousand artists. I think we can think of a thousand artists. Mm -hmm. You know, some of these artists are 40, 50 years old, man. We talking about, you know, like I try to explain to people. Stop using, the, okay, say we didn't use the word OG. Replace the word OG, because you know I'm all about etymology. Replace the word OG with elder. Yeah. Now, we, now that we use that word, let's think about who our elders are. Man, that's embarrassing as hell. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it is. Because that's, embar that's embarrassing as hell. It's, it's you, you know what I'm saying? But because you used that word OG, it was cool. Right, right. It was, it was cool, cool to be a thug, be right. 50, 60, nah, like you're saying, you on, the, on the corner. Call, call. Right, you on call, the call. corner. No, nah, you probably be dropping game, dropping jewels, letting us know what, what, what obstacles to elude, stay away from, what to, you know, what, right. what to expect in life. You did yeah. you know what I'm saying? Because yeah. that's why going back to the black man, like he has that that problem of communicating, especially when it comes to his emotions or things like that, because um, it's awkward, right? It's mm -hmm. awkward. And, when, and once you've been trained something, you gotta unlearn it. You're talking about something you've been learned your whole life. Yeah. Now you gotta unlearn it, mm -hmm. you know? But I mean, we can start with that, man. With, with, it's like uh, Confucius, you did know what I'm saying? What did he say? Um, I'm paraphrasing. Basically he said, when, when, when the gentleman exists, there will be no need for a lady of the night. You dig what I'm saying? Like you what got. You, what do you mean by that? That's you got because you got probably like you got females out here that's you know or people doing whatever they doing because they trying to please someone. Well, I thought you like this, you like that. What I'm saying is like you got husbands or let's just say wives, whatever the case is. You married to a wife, but you gonna go mess with my. You know you dig what I'm saying because they right. doing this or doing that. You know what I mean? But mm -hmm. at the same time, like. You got you got the structure going on. Definitely. You know, so it's like on that part we can say, oh man, well, they they doing this, we doing that. All right, but how can something live without acknowledgement? You see what I'm saying? And when I say that, I mean behavior. Yeah. You think everybody gonna be twerking if we don't pay attention to no more? You think everybody gonna be worried about trap music if we don't pay attention no more? You think everybody gonna care about George if we don't pay attention to no more? That still all goes back to the family structure. They're attacking us at all aspects because now you got, now you got after the crack epidemic. Oh, let's go back. We got after slavery, uh, murder, rape, infiltration of uh, specimens with our, our DNA, desecration uh, of to this day of our ancestors. Um, you know, uh, so much rape of the black woman. You know, uh, attack nonstop with a black male. Right. You know, um, and then we we fast forward. We go like uh, you know seventies, and people gotta understand when heaven, the universe, and cosmos really 
when you really see things are in tune. Uh, what, what's that, Woodstock? This is when we was at our highest frequency of love. Mm. What's up, brother? Oh, you got it? Got it, yo? I wish <laughs> I could have lived in the 70s, you know what I mean? Give me some skin, right. you know what I'm saying? What's up, baby? It's like um, the necessary evil, right? Because until we, you get that pressure, you don't care. Mm -hmm. You know, um, uh, situations like Ferguson, until they kick him down the damn door, you know, someone that was in ground zero staying there. When they kick down the door, not not as real. Right. Now you want, you know what I'm saying? Like, and we should already be there though. Like, what else do they have to do? Mm -hmm. You know, and that's what I'm saying. In final right. structure, we got this, this music, and we gotta understand that even the most religious person, the most spiritual person, take how you find out about any guy without art, can't do it. Right. Who wrote the Bible? Any Bible? A poet. They, you know, you know, people say, "Oh, the light." They don't even know what somebody of the light is. Someone of the light is really um, someone who a guy that changed the ability of perception. One of great literature. That's what that means. When they say <laughs> yeah. of light, not literally the light. Nah, man, it's only one light. Yeah. <laughs> you dig what I'm saying? That's you know, and that's what people get mistook in. You know, um, we getting in the car, like I said, or you. You get upset, or she jump in the car, this and that little kids get there, I'm just gonna pick my baby, drop off and go out to work tonight. You get in the car and the lyrics, motherfucker, I'ma kill your ass when I get it. Cause a nigga when the more whatever the case is, right? <laughs> right. And these kids are like sponges, they hear that. Mm -hmm. Grown men hear it. I guarantee you, because I do studies right on this, 99.9%. .9%. You ask anybody right now, first off, half of them that's on death row, gonna say I ain't gonna lie to you. I woke up the next day in jail and I don't even remember what happened. Okay? The other half, the other 40% going to tell you, uh, man, I was on some form of dope. Mm -hmm. Now that we know, we had never been no form of drug. Drug is anything you abuse out of moderation. You, you be water. You know what I mean? Um, they was on dope, something hard. Right. You dig what I'm saying? Um, they turned the goddamn music on. And then they did their deed. What you think? What you think gang members do? What you think killers do? They put that. They gotta get in mode. Exactly. That's like the words control <laughs> the action. It controls the mind state. Once you mm -hmm. think something, you change your perception. Right. Now that's your action. That's if you, the process of manifestation. That's it. If, if you if we, if we around the liquor store or we around, cause you know as young men, right? Cause we got to learn stuff about women later. We like, oh, that's how it work. Like young men, we be sitting around as young men and we don't know no better. Oh, dumbass, this motherfucker, oh, that, 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 Because we think that's the way to talk. That's the way to be. Mm. Well, fuck you, little punk, yeah, <laughs> You see what I'm saying? Until we realize, like, damn, this thing, tripping, bugging, you know? So that's what I'm saying. But if you were creating a, ho a hostile uh, uh, environment, and the fact that we don't take music and art serious, who don't get paid to this day? Artists. Who get paid the most? Artists. We we'll move the economy. Artists. Right. It's all about art. Even if somebody is a straight Christian, art down in heaven. Artists. <laughs> you know what I mean? It's a reason why, you know, it's that imbalance. You know what I mean? That artists not even wired. That's a that the average human got a spark in divinity. Artists got that much more though. And that's what I'm saying. When we playing this music, you know, I'm going to say it, Snoop Dogg or whatever the case is, for example. Yeah, we can do our deeds and things like that, but we got to we gotta get to the point where we're like, hey, um, I can't do this no more. Definitely. Because you know? I, I like it, like, <laughs> like I was saying earlier, back to the movies and all that, you know, Ice Cubes and, and all these people, you know, who are so praised for their status because all oh, they got on a lot of money, you know, all this, you know. Right. But it's like, how much damage did y'all do? How much damage y'all do? To the people. That's way Because of the, 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 the roles that y'all played, you know, just thinking it was a movie, whatever they was thinking, whatever they was thinking, but, you know, there was a lot of damage that. that it's a lot of damage. Doing. It's like my man said, I can't recite his name right now, but that doesn't matter because he'll get his credit either, either way. That's how the universe works, right? right. So... Um, and this is a white gentleman, uh, called him on TED Talk, and he basically was saying that, like, you know, us whites, we'll listen to that, that rap, that 
that that that, that kill everything, that attack on black people. Oh yeah, I think I know. You know what I mean? About. But we won't do that because we know. You know, anytime we want to hear about, you know, we want to get in the bowl or taking out, you know, but people killing this and that, but we ain't involved in that. And he was just going on to say how, like, you know, Rick Ross got, you know, lost his. Uh, right, for talking about the sex. Yeah, for talking about the the, 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 the roofie. Mm -hmm. And that's how he lost his sponsorship, but yet he can talk about, you yeah. know, killing black folks right. and selling drugs to black folks all day. But when he said the word rape or something like that, that involved, like, college students or anything close to, like, white folks. Now we got a problem. Right. So that's, again, that's an attack on the family structure. Like, these cats, you know, I get it. I used to be upset at my people. You know, I I, I had, I did a piece about this on my upcoming job. I used to be upset at my people like, yo, but I get it. You know, you you feel like you got nothing or you you in the mud, you know, your family in the mud or, you know, your mama on crack, you know, your father locked, your old boy locked up, you know, whatever the case is, and you got to get up out of this. Right. I get that. But at the end of the day, this would not even be happening if somebody somebody got to take accountability. You know what I mean? And, and, and going on to the production, the producers, the industry, like, when we realize that we don't need people outside of our culture manipulating us to be, like, that's like saying, please, I just want to be black, and you're already black, though. So why would you want to be in an industry set up to make you feel like you have to go to their standards. What do they know about art or culture? Mm. Hell, like, the only thing they really could say they thorough at is erasing history. And, and, and changing and the narrative. And studying it. You and know studying what I mean? it. Like, right, right. Watch them. Yeah, they're the great way, observers. They doing. They're you know thorough I mean? observers. Yeah. I'm gonna give them that. Right. That's, that's, a, that's a, um, a tool as well. They're great observers, especially if you can apply it. They apply it like hell. Yeah. You know, but my, like I said, my thing is like, um, you know, uh, Kendrick Lamar is a great example, you know, uh, relating to something that you can play within the family structure because he's giving you several instances of consciousness, you know, versus we just go out here, slaughter and murder, disrespecting our people. Like, how, how long is this going to go on? And then we complain, we, and then we complain about stuff like, just stop the music, stop supporting it, stop. You 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 in a you in a relationship with a grown man talking about you know you want to roll in dirt fight people you want to you want to get locked up you want you want to jeopardize dudes in your family you want to sell dope right right but then we get locked up or we get hit with that ten twenty but you instantly wake up so I don't want to hear nobody say you know I got it like that but you would wake up though if the shit was over with. And that you know, and that's why like um, you know, you're an honorable mention, you know what I mean? I salute you and other people, uh, the few, because it's a few that 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 keep the integrity in the art. You know, and it's like to uh to dog nobody out or nothing like that, you know what I mean? Uh, I'm I'm saying that we're allowing the world to manipulate our culture for us to get paid. It, it's as simple as if we just stop dealing with them, they will no longer exist. Like yeah. we gotta understand that it's like the plant um mistletoe. They need us to survive to live off of our life force, our talents, our abilities, mm -hmm. our knowledge, our history. We don't need them. Everything in nature is going against them. You right. dig what I'm saying? Like, and and we the ones suffering. Everything we are goes in accordance with nature. You know, going back to the culture. And that's my whole thing. Like, from from the music, from the the industry, from the world attacking, it all comes back down on that family structure to that single parent paying through hundred dollars for them Jordans. You know, because the child is only focused on getting them Jordans because why? Because us as a people, that's what we highlight. We dog each other when you ain't got the Jordans. But if we yeah. thought it was somebody of stature, we wouldn't even question it. We wouldn't oh, even question like, it. Like, oh, Bill, like you see Bill Gates, you ain't gonna be like, oh, this nigga ain't got no Jordans on. I ain't got no bro. He ain't got no Jordans on. But wealthy, in my, in my thing, but wealthy people don't talk about the poor, and poor talk about wealthy people. You know, and that's really the difference. It's not a dollar amount. You know what I'm saying? It's, it's the mind state. And that's all I'm saying, like, as far as the, the family structure. You know, if we want to do things, 
And, and that really, like I said, that just come down to like, the, with, as far as this music, we just got to stop supporting it. Yeah. Because a lot of artists making that because they feel like, well, I got to get that check, so I ain't going to stop doing this. It's like the Kaepernick situation. Like, you can't leave that one person out there to get persecuted. Like, we we got to get persecuted. Yeah, and show yeah. them, like, well, fuck it then. We just won't watch football no more. They'll lose a lot of money. And that's what I was going to say earlier, too. I was going to say one thing was, um, yeah, we feel like we need their money. They buy I feel shit. like, yeah, I feel like we feel like we need their money in order to be successful in life. Like, we got to go to them because they got what we need as far as, I feel like that's what we think. Like, education and just things. Like, okay, we got to go to them. We got to go to the white people because, you know, they established and they got, you know, we don't feel like we can go to each other for everything. And that's why we still feed into that, you know, whatever it is that, that they're doing, you know. Yeah, man, like like I said, coming back down to the, to the art, you know, um, it's that responsibility, you know, and this is my question. What is money? Let's just say if uh, we didn't give into it. Like, money don't got no power either. Yeah. Like, only thing that got power is what our culture is putting into. Everybody is selling us back our stuff. We're going to other cultures that ain't got hip now off this main culture that's been manipulating us. So they're going to get in into two instead of us, you know, doing our own thing. Yeah. And then when we do do our own thing, it's an uphill struggle to get support from your own people. It's like all the games, all the, movie, all the movies, all the, you know, everything. You know, fashion. You just start seeing them, like, I'm just going to say with the games. Like, when they start making the games, like, do all the dances that we was doing, you know what I mean, that we be doing. And then now we like, oh, this game is clean. They dancing like us. Right. You know what I mean? Now all of a sudden we like the game more. We buying the game more, you right. know what I mean? Instead of just embracing our people who are doing that stuff. And we're like, oh, he clean, bro, doing the dance. You know what I mean? Like, right. Yeah. Exactly. And that's what I'm saying. Like, we, we get overly excited and, you know, too happy about other people involved in our culture. We get too um, uh, protective over the Tommy Hill figures and Tom Ford and who the hell else right. that ain't giving back to the culture. Like like I said, man, I'm from Illinois. I don't buy J's. Right. I ain't wear J's in about 10 years, man. Somebody bought me a pair of J's, I sold them. And I told them, like, I don't, I don't wear J's. Right. Are they dope? Shit, yeah, they dope as hell. But with me, um, maybe I'm too stubborn, but going back to the family structure, I know what it's doing to my people. Mm -hmm. You play AAU ball, you go to school, you get free Jordans. Why don't, you know, every once in a while, let's say every quarter, uh, a family or something, you know, a single parent or something, that child may get something like that or something. Like, or whoever coming to the back to school drive, the back, all the schools, that's something, you know, wherever, something, you know, who needs it. Something. Jordan's like billion dollar shoe. There's no shoe like a Jordan. <laughs> they the joy Jetson forever of shoes. Right. You know yes. what I mean? So my thing is like, then we say ignorant stuff from someone, and, and, and you um, educate on this well, especially like, when someone like learning to make things from scratch, you learn that, you know, they're like, oh, this off brand, this new. Like my yo, your, 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 your shoes cost $6 to make, son. The shoes cost two dollars and fifty cents to make, son. Okay, but you know illegally, you know what I mean. But somebody's time and effort and skill, you can't you can't put a price on that. All I'm saying is like that's another. Okay, what's that? The uh, what's his name? The uh, the shoe doctor, whatever the hell his name is. Again, everybody here, you know, they got rims on them cars. You know, everybody. Oh, it's lit. You know, the commercials, it's hip-hop. Exactly. Everything exactly. in the world is hip-hop. Sold through hip-hop. Our, our, our culture, our language, our lingo. They want mm -hmm. to talk about us and dog us out when we just speak on Ebonics, which we should always, we just because they took our, our language away from us or keep us away from it, don't mean we can't create our own. Mm -hmm. They try to make us feel uneducated for something like that. No, we should be speaking a language that they can't understand. 
You dig what I'm saying? Because that that would that would keep us protected as well. You know, so that's my thing, you know, and so let's go back to just what do you think we need to do to rebuild uh, we got rebuild the family's family structure. Well you already know, man, this is Larry Smiley, so like words. It's how we speak to one another. It's how we speak to one another, it's how we treat one another. You know, if the words we use, were they lyrics or they words, that's why the lyrics matter, because they words. Right. You get what I'm saying? The words change the mind state. Once you got the mind state and perceptive, now you got the action. You know, a lot of people, it's a lot of people right now, man, I know, because I get to talk to some people that have got another 37 years. You know, the phone get handed around, I'm having conversations with people, and they're like, man, right on, man, you giving me a lifeline right now. To know that a perfect stranger just geek off of me talking to them. Words matter. Yeah. Lyrics matter. Thank you, man. I'm trying to get on my business stuff too. That's hope. Mm -hmm. Man, I got a whole other 37 years. So that's what I'm saying, you because, know. Because it's it's like we like you were saying earlier, um, you know, uh that process of manifestation, bringing in things, bringing things into life, yeah, you know, is creating that that foundation for the mind to think a certain way. I would speak to one another, I treat one another. Right. And, that, and that's something that we all gonna battle with, you know, until we leave her because other forces to be in that attack on us. But I mean, when it's all said and done, that's our culture, man. You right. know, and that's why I think that's why it's a, a heavy obstacle for us to tackle. Like I said, you know, being the credit of it, it's something I still battle with every day. But right. at the same time, you know, um, it's, it changes the mind state. Once you change the mind state, you can pretty much do anything. Mm -hmm. You know, it can be tatted up, it can be black, it can be whatever. Um, and still execute, just like a blue collar, a white uh, businessman, so to say. Yeah. You know? Yeah, so. All right, y'all, man, we gonna get back at y'all, tapping with y'all again. Rebuild the culture, baby. Exactly, again, I'm Mr. Lewis. I'm a Ravens Saint, Lewis Matter. Shelly, man, we gonna tap back in. Hey.